My mom says hi. She's worried about you. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You need rest. You've been spending too much time at the hospital. Go sleep in our bed for once. I, I can't stand to leave him there alone. I hate to see his little body hooked up to all those tubes and machines. I mean, even when he was premature, it wasn't this bad. The doctors told us that we weren't going to have to deal with this. That there weren't going to be problems down the road. It's going to be okay. Danny is tough for a five-year-old. He gets that from you, you know. Leo, just stop. What? We need to be realistic about this. You heard what the doctor said. Danny is brain dead. You can't think like that, Bree. You never know, there could be a miracle. I'm done. I'm done praying for miracles. I spent the last six weeks praying for a fucking miracle and got nothing. We can't keep going on like this. I can't keep watching him suffer. What are we supposed to do now? Hmm? We have to let him go. Let him go? What do you mean take him off life support? That's all that's keeping him alive. He's not alive. There is a machine pumping my baby's heart, bringing air into his lungs, but he's not there. You're talking about killing our son. He's already dead. I'm talking about putting him out of his misery. You selfish bitch. I'm selfish. This is the hardest thing I have ever had to do. No mother should ever have to bury her child. But I am doing this for Danny so he won't be in pain anymore. And I'm bearing the burden of this decision for the both of us because I know you can't fucking do it. This will haunt me my entire life. But I'm doing it for Danny. And that is what being a mother is. Well, I'm his parent too. And they won't do it without both of our consent. I already talked to the doctor. And she agrees with me. I'll get a lawyer. A lawyer? You'll destroy our family. You killed our son. I divorce you. <laughs>